Hey everybody, it's Elisa Marshall from Beauty and the Beast MTV. Today we're here at the Capitol Trail because unfortunately the weather has been really bad and so we decided to take you guys on a road uh, biking trip instead. Uh, so here we go. So as y'all can probably see here, it starts at the Great Shipyard Park, which is a pretty cool park if you've never been here. Go check it out. But, uh, that's where the official start of the Richmond leg of the Capitol Trail is. <laughs> up in here. So we're going to start here and we're going to try to get to the end of the Varina phase today. So hopefully we'll make it. Stay tuned. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Good. <laughs> so this is the official start on the Richmond side of the Capitol Trail. And if you've never done it, it's a pretty cool trail. I dig it. So, obviously me and Elise are mountain bikers, so we don't actually own road bikes. <laughs> so if y'all worry about our tires, don't. We're planning on replacing these. So we're not really worried about wearing out the knobs. But if you are worried about it, it is good to get some slicks. And they do sell them at all the local bike shops around here. Again, we're planning on replacing our tires soon anyway, so we're not really worried about it whatsoever. Yeah, this is the official start of the Capitol Trail in Richmond. Uh, I will warn y'all, I probably will fast forward part of this video. Uh, excuse me. But yeah, I probably will end up fast forwarding portions of this video. I kind of want y'all to see it, but... Uh, I kind of understand that, you know, watching people just pedal with no sound and no talking <laughs> can get really, really dull, so. Of course, this video will be fast forward. Let's just put it that way. And you'll hear us complain about our butts because yeah. they're not meant for road biking. Yeah, our seats are definitely not meant for road biking, so we'll be a little saddle sore tomorrow. That's okay. But yeah, if you're looking for a good uh, winter training, I do recommend the Capitol Trail because it is pavement, so don't have to worry about damaging it. Okay. Keeps you in shape. I mean, you will have to pedal for longer, but it is a good workout. Especially the giant hill coming out of Richmond. Yep. Oh, adorable dog. <clears throat> but uh I do recommend everybody try this trail once because uh there are some great views I'll try to get some of the river as we're going kind of an awkward angle <laughs> but uh yeah it's, it's a pretty gorgeous trail so And if you're worried about like doing distance, all I can say is normally I do about seven, 10 miles mountain biking and I'm exhausted. The other week we came out here and I did like 23 miles of this trail uh, and I felt like I could do more. So it's a pretty mellow trail with the exception of the giant hill leaving Richmond, but it's nice. I, I definitely recommend it. Anyway, I'm gonna get to pedaling now for a little while. Save my energy for that giant hill. Now entering Hariko. So we're now entering Hariko. Yeah, why wouldn't that be? <laughs> View taping all of it. We get full trails. We don't jump around. It's full trail in this channel.
Yep. A lot of cool buildings. Lots of conversions from the tobacco factory to the block. Yeah. 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 Ye
but I'll take drops and rocks over cars any day. Whew. Big hill. Apologize for my breathing. That's a pretty big, long, sustained hill. But if you get past this, that's the worst of it. Just gotta keep grinding. First hill's done. Ah, oh, man. Whew. Killer. Killer hill. I guess we're going for the rest of it. See if I can't. I love bugs. I love gnats. Mayflies, maybe? I don't know. All right, time for the second hill. bike or even a hybrid be way better for this <laughs> oh, man. but it's okay getting in some miles almost just happened Whew. Whew. Get in there. Whew. Now we're at the top. Hell yeah. I think I need a breather after that one. So, so that's pretty much the worst of the hill. There's still a little bit more hill to go, but once you get past there, it comes pretty easy. Much more manageable. I mean, it's an effort, but it's not as monumentous of an effort. So at least made this really good French onion soup for lunch, which was delicious. Don't get me wrong, but now I'm feeling it. <laughs> Ugh, kicking up on me. That was power for it, powering through it. Whew. 
almost there. So, fun fact, they believe that uh, Chief Powhatan was born around this area. And he was the chief when the, the Jamestown settlers arrived. And I believe Pocahontas is father. But yeah, pretty cool. A little neat slice of history out here. Anyway. The barbecue restaurant. Be careful of this cross rock. Yeah, cross rock. Cross walk. I can't talk. This traffic does come flying through here. Alright, no cars. Good. And nobody coming this way. Just gonna keep on going. Somebody got some wood going. It's pretty far away from here.
Whew. Like bike packing. Very pretty out here. Very historic too. year. in the crosswalk here. We're coming? No, we're good. All right. Woo! So this trail kind of crosses the street a couple times, if I remember correctly. As you want it. So watch out for cars. Big, huge lumbering piece of metal will mess you up way worse than anything mountain biking would do, in my opinion. Someone behind us, babe, get in front. I can see why all the road bikers love this trail. You don't have to deal with cars, it's nice. You get a pretty view. Don't have to share a road. Really, it seems like it would take a lot of stress off you if you're a road biker. It's just, I don't know, I, mean, I would never want to <laughs> deal with all the cars on the road. I can account for myself, but I can't account for idiots in cars so it was well worth it definitely check this out if you haven't already you got a rainy day can't go mountain biking or two wet dry trails come do this I think it's worth it I know during the summer they rent bikes too right near the start kind of a shipping container thing I think it's called a kickstand and they have all sorts of bikes you can rent so if you don't want to take your mountain bike you just take that instead I think I got one of them uh, four person carts too that you see at the beaches and stuff so that'd be cool maybe we'll try to do that one day Talking to the camera. Talking about that rental place. That's right there. Apparently it has like a one of those four person carts. Four person what? Carts that you see at the beach with pedals. 
we'll have to get four people together and try to conquer the trail one day. too soon. Hey. Yeah, it'll stay up once it's up. It just takes forever for it to lock in. I really need to fix it. Especially before we do goop ride or anything. Could definitely be easier. Oh, a little bit of downhill angle now. Good. Ooh, a little downhill. Feels nice.
Oof. Nice, we're here. Uh oh. Alright. So, at this light post is where our last major uphill starts. Coming up soon. So this is the last bit of uphill. Just enough hill to make you feel it. Before you move on. So, the nice thing about doing this trail is everything on the way back is pretty much downhill. So, it's pretty easy to come back, so it's pretty nice. We are on the last section of this hill. At least I'm pretty sure it is. And that'd be the last section of Mount Five. What are these little bridges they put in? All right, let's power it out. Go, Pep, go. She dogging it out. Whew. I swear she is an uphill master. She just grinds those things out. Even while I'm on mountain biking, she just tears it up going uphill. Oh, oh man. Oh. Rough on the legs. So 
so that so we card. All right. And that's that. Whew. Feeling that one. If you take statins like I do, you might be feeling cramps right now. <laughs> Oh. If you look to our right, that's where the Fort Harrison unit was. Don't know if you can see it, but uh, I think it's also part of Richmond Battlefield Park up on the right. There you go. So, if you uh, take this street up here to the right on Battlefield Park Road, it takes you to the Richmond Battlefield. Which, or maybe that's Port Harrison. I want to say it was Battlefield, but it's pretty cool. There's a lot of history you can do on this. You always set up like a history tour if you really wanted to down here. Just seeing all the historic sites. Be pretty neat. Might do that one day. Whew. Oh, there's that barbecue place again. This barbecue place always smells so good. See what's it called? Ronnie, Ronnie's, is that it? Yeah, Ronnie's barbecue. Someone in the comments, let me know if it's any good. It smells delicious. Hmm. Just love the smell of smoked wood, smoked pork. Oh god, I could stop there and eat a whole rack of ribs. So please, 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 please let me know. If it's good barbecue. Even if it's just okay barbecue. The next time I'm out here, I'll stop and get some. Anyway, continuing on. I do love the view going out here. I do like seeing all the churches and stuff. I'm not religious myself, but I think churches have some of the best designs of all time. Especially the stained glass in churches. Just gorgeous. When I was in school, I learned how to make stained glass at college. And part of my grade one time was to go find natural stained glass around town, but I was in a town of Farmville where Longwood University is. You wouldn't believe some of the stained glass they have in those churches. Almost worth a trip on its own to Farmville just to look at those. They're just gorgeous. But anyway, enough of me geeking out <laughs> over stained glass. Back to the ride. Hmm. Let's feel so have Christmas. Forty-five. So I don't know. How I mentioned it, but uh, when you start at Richmond, it's technically mile fifty-one point two. 
and then it counts down. Because I guess the official start is technically in Jamestown, Williamsburg area. But for our purposes, if you live in Richmond, the official start is the Shiplock Park. Which, by the way, if you haven't checked out that park, that's a cool park. I recommend it. There are a lot of little cool parks all over Richmond. Nice truck for sale. How much do they want? Can't read. <laughs> It's coming up too this time. What? So we know what's coming up this time too. It's a lot easier when you know the area a little bit. Ooh. Like we do this? Like <laughs> you see that motion right there? Yeah. It's the motion you should do on drops. Okay. You feel how your front is getting pushed out? Yeah. Yeah. You want your front to get pushed out. Yeah. So speed and do that and on a lot of drops, like wooden drops and stuff, you can just do that. On rocks, sometimes it's a little bit more complicated. I like the moonshine one, I have to like, I somewhat bunny hop on it a little bit. But you can probably get away with just lean back on it. Oh. Yeah. It's dead. Nah. They've been harvested. That's why they're all cut off at the same height. Maybe. Stop at the supper. Take a little break, drink a little drink. Yeah, I'm thirsty. Yeah. I'm also gonna point out that's a nice place to use the restroom. Because it actually is a very nice restroom. Dollar General. Ugh. Looks like someone had an accident around here. Trying to chew up your tires. Old school barbershop. I could definitely go for a trim. Ooh, local holly. <laughs> All right, so we're going to stop here at the subway and take a break. Hey y'all, so we're taking a quick break here up at the Subway Valero. Don't know if you can see it, but if you're on the trail and you need a bathroom, that is actually probably the cleanest bathroom I've 
I've been on long here, and it always seems to be pretty decent. That if you need a sub. You'll notice the right one because across the street, there's a food line. I don't know if you can see it. And there's a Chinese restaurant attached to that food line. Did y'all ever notice that there's always seems to be a Chinese restaurant next to food lines? Like, just find the food line and you can get Chinese food. Life hack, I guess. But anyway, continuing on. All right, continuing on from Subway. Had ourselves a nice little break. Then we're gonna keep on going. Uh, it's a cool day out here today, so it kind of helps. So we checked the map and we're actually not too far away from the end of the Varina section. Press button. I think it's a uh, mile 38 is where the Varina section officially ends. And then it's the New Market Heights section. All right, apologies y'all. That was like the world's longest crosswalk we had the way that. Jesus. You all on? Yeah, y'all are on. All right. Don't have too much farther to go before we're at the end of the Verina section. But we gotta race the battery. Say we're good. Takes like a left. This thing goes near a park. Going back goes a distance. Go for speed. You're all alone. Cause I just dusted you. Gumballs. Why do they call these things gumballs? So, 
Yeah, asking anybody. You, anybody who's commenting on YouTube that knows why they're called gumballs? Anybody who's got the answer for me? Say, I'm asking you, anybody on YouTube who knows, why are they called gumballs? Someone give me the answer. I guess they're kind of shaped like a gumball. They have more to right. It's got a line down the middle. You're over the line. Ah, really pretty back here. Looks like one, yeah. Definitely relaxing. If nothing else. Looks like we gotta make a left. Yeah. Well, looks like we're road biking now. Look at that house. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is neat. A little bit of break in the trail. I just couldn't get it to line up completely. Oh, that's pretty. Whew, gotta get up off my seat. But starting to hurt. Mountain bike seats are not meant for sitting down for long periods.
<clears throat> yep, so right here on the left is uh, Dory Park. You can just take it that way. But we're going to continue on the trail. I'm going to... Ah. You have to check out Dory Park one day. There might be some trails back there. Yeah, there's at least disc golf. A ah, big thing is disc golf. Yeah, probably. Whew. Man, what a day. It's been beautiful. Hey, that's neat. I always want to try it, but I think the frisbees get a little expensive, or the discs, I don't know if they call them frisbees, probably not, there's a little pipeline, water maybe, gas, don't know, nah, alright, giant skinny, go babe. Right, I apologize if y'all see me keep looking down because I have a lot of low battery, so I'm trying to make sure I switch the battery as soon as possible. How are you left? I see it. Oh, gotta stop. Oh, you're gonna let us cross. Thank you. Whew. That was nice of him. Oh man. Nice day. Would be kind of a dreary mountain biking day and a wet day, but it's been a pretty nice day on the Capitol Trail. So <laughs> last leg, last battery, last eleven percent. Let's do this. So the reason I said milepost 38 is because by the my best guess that's where the Varina section officially ends. I can't really tell. I don't have that map in front of me. <clears throat> when we stopped the subway though, that's where I figured it. So nice to see so many people out biking. Running. You know, just being outdoors. I did make sure this was on, right? Yeah. <sighs> if only we had blue skies, that would make it even better. They probably could have put some mountain bike trails off this. It'd be pretty cool if they did. Oh, going under a bridge. 
Neat. That means when we come back, we gotta go uphill. It's uphill both ways. <laughs> nah, it's not that bad. We should be pretty good. Get some speed, Beb! Speed! Speed! Beb, I'm aerodynamic, Beb! I'm aerodynamic! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. So those of y'all that really rode, how do y'all put up with being hunched over the whole time? <laughs> like, that would, seems like it would hurt my back after a while. <laughs> Maybe it's not as uncomfortable as it looks. <sighs> Let me know. <clears throat> 41. Three more miles. What are we supposed to be at when we end? 38. Faster, Bab. Faster. Yeah, at least the saying that everything back here could become mountain bike trails. I have to agree with her. It would be cool. So, Verona, get on. Or I guess, are we still in Hamrica? I don't know where I am. New Market Heights, maybe? A little bit of a hill there. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice trail. Alright guys, so we're at the uh, Four Mile Creek Park Trailhead. Sorry about that. Our GoPro battery is about to die. So as always, like, subscribe, and bye! Alright guys, so we kept on going and we did make it to mile post 38 and that's where it switches over to new market heights uh we did it yay <laughs> honestly it's a really good trail uh if you're a big history buff definitely a fun trail there's so much history going down it uh it's just a it's an overall good change of pace you know sometimes you get a little tired grinding out the mountain bike miles sorry for the cars it is loud 
But uh, yeah, I, I recommend everybody try it out. What do you, what about you, babe? Yeah, for sure. For those that need a break from mountain biking sometimes and just need to <laughs> get on your bike and just go. Or if it's too wet to ride, definitely worth checking out. But anyway, I'll start popping now. We've already said goodbye. So, bye again.